Greetings, comrades. HBO brings us the story of the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl through a limited series of the same name. So is this worth seeking out to binge? The series tells the story of the nuclear power plant at Chernobyl in the Soviet Union in 1986. There's an explosion at the power plant which creates or rather unleashes one of the world's worst man-made catastrophes. Chernobyl stars Jared Harris and Stellan Skarsgård as a scientist and a party member respectively who are tasked with verifying and then cleaning up or fixing the mess at Chernobyl. I remember being scared about this as a kid. I mean, we in the US were really afraid that some nuclear cloud was gonna come across the sea and just contaminate and end life as we knew it in the United States. I cannot even imagine what it was like to be in Europe at that time. I mean, all of those European countries that are, it's quite literally in their backyard with this, this impending, I mean, as the winds shift, they were picking up radiation pretty far away in other cities in other countries. It's a really interesting series to watch because of how much it dives into what happened. And then it also focuses a lot on the hubris of the people involved and their reluctance to even admit that anything was wrong or that anything bad happened or that they might have been at fault or have done something wrong. And this is a devastating event and they capture that emotion and that feeling really well throughout the series. It's also very frustrating at times watching this because you know that there are things that they could or should do and then sometimes that people just chose to do nothing. But then also you know that the government is telling these people to do something and you know that that is not in the best interest of these people at all. And so it's just as a viewer and knowing and having all of the hindsight of history behind us to be like, oh gosh, that's bad. Why didn't you get out? Why didn't you tell those people to leave? Or why are you putting all of these people in harm's way like that intentionally? Ah, it, it was frustrating and sad. There are five episodes in this limited series and each of them is just about over an hour. So it's totally bingeable and it, it's very engaging. And so you will find yourself sucked in. And that's even if you're not a history buff. If you're a history buff, you're probably gonna enjoy this even more because of just some of the nuances that they bring. I mean, the history itself is so engaging and so interesting and phenomenal to watch, but the actors do such a good job at their portrayal. And something really kind of cool and different that I, that I enjoyed is that the announcements, any of the news reports, any of the, the signage that you see is all in Russian and there's no subtitles. But the actors themselves speak in their native dialect or their, well, really, their native accents, which most of them are British. And so you just have these people with British accents. And I kind of found that even more authentic. I know that they're not Russian and even though they're playing Russians, it's not that authenticity but it wasn't distracting because I didn't have somebody who couldn't do a Russian accent trying to do a Russian accent and failing. All in all, Chernobyl is a good watch and it's fun to engage in, but it is a sad story, and especially knowing that it's a true story and the tragedy that actually occurred. And really, I would have loved to show some footage today of Chernobyl. And just because you, you see it, and these people were told really that they weren't going to be gone for very long. This was a temporary evacuation that we'll have it all covered. It'll all be taken care of. Not a big deal. And so things were literally left just as they were. Teacups on tables, you know, food set out, clothes, you know, kind of being folded, whatever that is. And so now it is this ghost town that people can't go in. And I don't imagine that you could ever go in without all kinds of protection because the level of radiation is still so high there that I would love to see more of that. I think it would be really interesting to watch. I think there was a series on Netflix called Dark Tourism or something where they, they went in to some of these places like that and they're all suited up. And so you get little glimpses here and there, but I would love to see a high quality, just great camera work done to show how Chernobyl and the surrounding area looks now with all of the growth that happened but really untouched by any humans. There's no sex, but there is nudity, profanity, and violence. I give HBO's Chernobyl four and a half out of five couches. Have you seen this or will you be watching? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me, comrades.